do you hear how quiet it is in the room right now? Yes, you hear a little server noise in the background. But watch this. And this is before they've warmed up. Damn, you have black magic. <sighs> These three fans are the pits of my life right now. So let's fix this. Instead of having some ginormous fans, and I actually have already, I've cheated a little bit here. I've already taken this thing apart once to actually figure out what size fan is inside this thing. So what I'm just gonna do is find my screwdriver set. Oh, there it is. And we'll get started here. And so the cool thing is, is that hopefully this actually works because I've just opened up the Amazon box and see if we can get this thing fixed because these fans are way too noisy for their own good. And so what I'm just doing right now is taking off the case of this VTR, this Blackmagic video recorder. Or, um, um, Decklink Mini is what it's called. Yeah, Decklink Mini. Hyperdeck Studio Mini. There, there we go. And this guy right here. You see this guy right here. Now let's see how we can replace this. So one of the things I did see, I did actually replace this, this guy right here. So instead I got this hipster brand fan system here. And hopefully it has the connection that I need for it. And I figured it wasn't going to be in the box, as it isn't. So instead of having it there, and I actually have, ooh, do I use those mounted fans? So instead of having, ah, much quieter than this piece of garbage. And what I also did is I actually got a GPU cable. So hopefully, oh, gosh darn it not work. Okay, so after we got this thing unboxed and a new fan unboxed, what I tried to do was to order a, a very easy connector to, to plug in the fan directly into the logic board without having to do all the, the soldering that we're going to start doing below here in a second. And I thought it was a GPU connector and it turned out uh, after I ordered it and I should have uh, you know looked at the connector a little bit closer, you see these connectors here is definitely a lot smaller to plug into the stupid VTR here as it versus just using a standard you know fan like everyone else in the world uses because you know go proprietary fans even though it's just a stupid you know two dollar fan that I have to replace because this one's so freaking loud. Now for me to figure out just to make sure that everything they haven't gone and screwed up the wiring scheme uh, I'm just going to do is just going to plug this thing in. Uh, so we have the big power supply here, which we're not going to use. We're going to use the smaller one, which is through PoE. So this guy right here doesn't really matter. But what we're going to do is we're just going to find our uh, grounds. So we're, we're grounding here. And so we're just going to make sure we have our ground on pin one, which is correct. So let me just bring this up here. And so what we're going to do is going to find our grounds. And we're just going to make sure that pin 1 is, in fact, uh, pin 1. And it's probably some BIOS chip saying, oh, where's the fan? That little. And so ground is on pin 1. We got voltage on pin 2. And we got you know, uh, fan control on pin 3. And we have some signal feedback on pin 4, which is the standard scheme for uh, a fan, but obviously the wiring scheme is a little bit different, and you know everyone uses their own wiring. You know, usually you do, you know, at least white I think is hot in this scenario here. So what we're going to do is plug in our old connector into this little thing that came in the box itself, and we're going to do some soldering to fix the fan. So we're just going to plug, unplug that, so we're not going to get annoyed by it here. And so this is sort of our original connector. So we actually make sure we do it on the right side here. And so on this guy here, we have pin one is ground, and this guy over here 
uh, ground is on pin one. I think this, so this is hot and ground. So we'll, you know, we'll just go down the, the, the chain the other way. So what we're gonna do is, you know, black is black in this scenario here. And I got some heat shrink tubing and we're just gonna seal the thing connect. Whoop, get the head out of the way here. And what we're gonna do is pin two on this one is red and red is hot and hot is white. And in this scenario here. Yeah. Then we'll just, we're just gonna peek into another connect, the original connector here really quickly. Where's my original connector? Um, green is number three, so I assume, you know, if we're going down the chain of events here, if we're going from, yeah, that way, green is number three, to the yellow, and thankfully we have heat shrink tubing here, so this is not gonna matter once we heat shrink it together. Just needs to get through the heat shrink tubing. And then blue is on blue. So we'll see what happens when we put this fan in. So just gonna put that there. Burn up the carpet. And so we'll put these on before I shrink it down. What we're gonna do is just do a quick test just to make sure everything's okay by plugging said fan into, let's see here. And make sure everything's looking good. Not gonna have some crazy voltage spike somewhere by some heat shrink going haywire. And we'll see what happens. Ah, much better. So what we're gonna do is just heat shrink these tubes down here since we probably know what's going on. And so I'm just gonna use my handy dandy heat gun. Good enough. And we might have to rinse and repeat for the next ones, but what we're gonna do is just get this guy plugged in since all these guys are good to go here. And so we're just gonna make sure the fan is going in the right way, which is approximately going in the right way here. And it was like this. And we'll just keep it like that. And just need a bigger cable here. Get this guy locked back down here. And I think we're in good shape. Plug this guy in. And we're in good shape. I think that's good enough for what I'm looking for. do is just just 
So the fan is quiet, but the other thing I discovered is this guy right here is creating a huge bunch of noise going through this gray here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it out because stupid black magic and not just giving me a something that's quiet. Push it around. Put that guy back in. And I think we're in good shape. So I'm just going to plug this back in again. So now we should have a much quieter unit than it was before. One down, another one to go. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing on this guy over here too. So we're just going to fans over here we got the new Noctura fans inside took out the grills because those were causing a bunch of noise so what we're gonna do is get this thing plugged in and see how much louder they are or how much quieter they are and we're not hearing any more fan noise anymore these fans are nice and quiet but just in case, if these newer fans, you know, since they do not push enough air out than before, I have some more big fans. These guys right here. And since I have some other stuff to, to cool on top of the, on top of the A10 as well, I'm just going to push these two fans in the front of my, my gear and it will actually help cool them down as well too and force some more air through the system. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's have a couple of big fans to, uh, to push even more air through that area.